Hi everyone, it's me again, Clem from Clem Travlog. As you might know from one of my previous video, my Instra 360 bicycle mount was broken during a ride. With my drop bar already containing a bike belt and a bike computer, I don't have any extra spot to have my front light and Insta360 mount on it. So I need a solution for my four gadgets. I need a mount that's able to fit in two gadgets in the same mount. Therefore, I found a solution to have my bike computer and my front light attached on the same mount. Today, in this open box video, I will introduce you a mount that I just purchased. The KH Pro Combo Mount Wahoo Black. I bought this mount from 99 bikes, but it was a bit pricey, with the price of $111. The reason I have my previous Insta360 bicycle mount broken due to overweight and constant vobering from uneven road surface while riding. So one of the key features I'm looking into it is solid and the capacity they're able to carry. So with this brand, KH, from a lot of reviews, they receive a lot of positive feedback, mentioning that their mount are actually very secure, very light and very aerodynamic. The only downside I can find is expensive. The mount is made by CNC machine aluminium, which means the body of the mount is actually built by a very solid and high quality aluminium. Besides, the mount is actually approved by Wahoo as a replacement mount, which means it is compatible with Wahoo bike computer like Bolt and Minis. So it is fantastic for me who use a Wahoo bike computer. Not only for that, the bottom contains an action camera mount. You can attach any front light that also comes with the action camera mount, as well as a GoPro or any other action camera. The payload capacity is 123 grams for the top and 242 grams for the bottom. Okay, so let me wait my Wahoo Bike computer and my Blackburn Day Blazer front light. So for my weighing machine, it shows my new KH mount weighted 58 grams. My Wahoo Element Bolt weighted 69 grams. My Blackburn Day Blazer weighted 134 grams. So the combination of the mount and gadgets are 261 grams. Now, let me install my new KH mount on my bike's drop bar. It is always better to be in central front and make sure it is flat for aerodynamic. Once position it, put the screw in. Tighten it up with Allen key so it stays stable. Done. Look solid and stable. Now, let me put my bike computer on, as well as my Blackburn Day Blazer front light. All done! Sweet! Looks so good. I'm happy with it. Anyway, that's it for this video. I hope that you like my introduction regarding this new mount that I recently purchased. Thank you for watching and I will see you on my next adventure. Goodbye! Anyway, thank you for watching. Don't forget to click the like, subscribe my channel, and share it to everyone. Leave a comment if you have any feedback for me. Life lessons come one in a dozen. The other eleven give something from nothing. Life lessons come one in a dozen. The other eleven give something from nothing.